education Bible school program tonight. We're going to give you a little preview of what these children have gone through the past two times. Or learned the past two times. We're, we're glad that you uh, chose to be here tonight to, to just give them a sample of what they've done. And, I may be wrong, but I think they've had a big time. Yeah. You boys and girls, have you had a big time? Yeah. Grown ups, have you had a big time? Yeah. I, I think the grown ups have very much for you. Yeah. But it's good to see each one of you. We want to go to the Lord in prayer. And uh, let's just bow our heads and pray together. Lord, we thank you. God, for this night, God, we thank you for this time of fellowship. So thankful, God, that you've kept your hand upon us through these past few nights, God, that you've protected each one. God, we ask, Lord, that you just continue to bless and continue to watch over, God, and let your will be accomplished, God, in this service tonight. We'll give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Everyone to stand for the uh, pledges. Thank you, ladies, to the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one brotherhood, uniting all mankind in service and love. <coughs> pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a light unto my path and a lamp unto my feet. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let me see.
also tonight, we're going to be hearing the stories of great faithfulness and the power of prayer. You see, the three Hebrew boys were told that they would be thrown in a fiery furnace if they didn't worship the king's God. But they didn't bow down. They stayed faithful. God was with them in the fire. They were delivered unharmed. Is it hot here or is that just me? <laughs> Tonight we will also be hearing the amazing story of Daniel. Of Daniel. And his extraordinary prayer life. He kept praying even after he was told that he'd be thrown in the ferocious lion's den where they were roaring loudly, ferociously, <laughs> scaring him. <laughs> and you see, God sent an angel to shut the lion's mouth. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I wonder where she gets that. <laughs> Once again, you see, God delivered. Thank you. 
case we have three and four year olds, Sister Teresa.
day two because they had to do extra. I worked them a little harder and they had to do some practice and get up in front of everybody. So I'm going to start with the children. Uh, Caden. Brother Zach and 
never seen a church that actually just worked so hard with the children. Amen. With the children. And uh, I appreciate each one of you.
one of the letting us have your children in the last couple of days. Yeah. It makes the world to me. Bob will get it, it makes the world to me. I look forward to it every year. It blesses my heart. And the children bless my heart. And I'll thank you once again for allowing us to have them a couple of nights. And if they don't have a regular church, if they got a baby, please uh, let them come here. We, we, we would love to have them. And uh, bring a regular. We'd love to see y'all here today.